Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniatures. Today I decided we're going to take a look at some of the new Cyberpunk Red models that Monster Fight Club has been putting out. Now, recently Monster Fight Club had a pretty successful Kickstarter campaign for a tabletop board game version of Cyberpunk Red, but these actually predated the board game by a little bit. Uh, these are actually all resin sculpts. I can't speak for the board game. I'm not 100% sure, but I thought, you know what? These guys look pretty rocking. Um, they're not super complex sculpts, but you get three to a pack. They're under 20 bucks. They're resin. I can't really complain. Look at these guys. I mean, they look fantastic. Who doesn't want a bunch of, you know, agitators and combat zoners? This is Group B, so obviously there is a Group A. There's actually quite a few of these that have been released so far. So if you're curious about any, I do suggest take a look for them. They are out there. And I do believe there are no, yep, there's no game components, so you don't need to worry about that. A little ad for some of Monster Fight Club's other releases. Edge Runners. I'm too busy running the edge, man. I have been tempted by their trees, I gotta say. Hold on to that. Always can use some painting guides. Okay, these are what? 30 millimeter? Feel 30. Conquest base is 30. Yep, I have a good eye for that. Got the Monster Fight Club logo down below and plenty of holes if you want to just use the pegs that are already on them so check out the quality of that resin casting looks quite nice other than the bottom of the gun as i say that a little bit of cleanup some mold lines there on the back nothing too horrid but i mean the detail looks good there will these actually plug in no, but that shouldn't be a big deal. I think if you're working with resin, I think they're they look like, you know, they'll go on the base nice enough. This is one of the only models that actually has his head attached. Nice big mold line. I already hear some of you recoiling in horror there. I know. I will try to clean them up. But you know, outside of the actual Cyberpunk Red game, I think these would make some great survivor types for just about any game. Yeah, the weapons may be a little bit more futuristic and high-tech looking, but, uh, you know, that's not anything you can't just hand wave away. Be great survivors for The Walking Dead, for Zombicide, maybe Gaslands. I like his Moltov. Looks kind of broken, doesn't it? Maybe it's supposed to be broken? picture doesn't show us what's this though aha that makes more sense Ooh, it's broken I'm telling yeah that's easy enough to fix so here's the interesting bit too well the package shows us with only the two heads and I don't know if this is gonna be the same for every set obviously I only have this one so far but we've got all kinds of hooded faces. Not a full face to be seen anywhere. Hooray. If you want to just get away with, you know, painting some flesh and swabbing some wash on it, you totally can get away with that here. Um, I'm going to hold on to these heads, though. I think these would be quite useful. And this is headset one, which makes me assume that there might be a headset two. Possibly. I know I picked up some of the police for my brother, and I have yet to see them painted. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Maybe he can chime in down below and let us know if those actually have any kind of options as well. I am realizing that I have a relative lack of cyberpunk sci-fi stuff hanging around here on the table. That is a shame, and that really needs to change. I do have a Fallout Wasteland Warfare model here. About the right size if you wanted to use him as a survivor. I dig this guy, especially with the backpack. He looks like he's he's seen things. He's been places. What else can we compare it to? The typical Marine. 
Looks like there's a little bit of a difference there. Mm, what else we got laying around over here? I don't know. Malifo? Wild West Exodus? Chaos Cultists? I don't know, actually, Science Wise, he seems to be all right in line with the Wild West Exodus guy. If you wanted to run these together in some kind of interesting mashup, I think it would work. Scrappers, maybe. Reality's Edge, that's what I'm thinking of. Reality's Edge would be a great use of these models as well. So I do think there's a lot of options that you could use these for. There's just not a whole lot of variety in terms of poses, but if that's not something that you're after, I think I wouldn't worry about it too much. Very, very simple construction. The heads, in this guy's case, fixing the flames on the bottle. And you do have a couple of options as well. So that is always nice and appreciated. What about guard? I thought I saw one of my printed guardsmen here. Little bit bigger. Hmm. So, something to keep in mind. I will grab some clippers. I'll put these guys on bases and we'll take a quick look at how they turn out, okay? All right, folks, we got our combat zoners glued together, cleaned up, and based. And it makes me realize now I have so very few cyberpunk-style models actually painted. Uh, that's something I got to fix. You'll notice that is also something that was quite obnoxious. A little bit of miscast back there, but probably with a little bit of paint, it won't make a huge difference. So you can see, I had to go for the fully enclosed face masks, and we did fix the Moldov there. Again, a little bit of mold lines, but easily dealt with. I didn't notice that one, though. Well, we'll keep working on it. And under the legs, and on the other side, yeah. Uh, if you're a stickler for the mold lines, obviously, that is something you're definitely going to want to fix. And then we have our backpacker. He's still my favorite of the bunch, but this dude, this dude's pretty rocking. He's just, well, they all look like they're ready for serious business. Can't complain there. So size-wise, what are we expecting? Um, I went ahead and grabbed a few random models. I had a Mercs civilian who, if you have access to Mercs stuff, or if you want to go track down some of the Kickstarter board games, uh, or the expansions, that is, as well, they had quite a few extra civilians in there if you need just regular, normal-looking office types. Uh, might be something fun to have for innocent bystanders on the street, especially, you know, just cowering here. If you're not sure how big those guys are, with a Blackstone Fortress Guardsman. And we'll grab an Orlock while we're at it. The Orlocks of all of the various Necromunda gangs are probably the most standard cyberpunk looking. But then, if we're going to do that, we might as well grab a Delac as well. So, I think size wise, they fit in pretty well. So, if you wanted to do, uh, what are those? The Enforcers. I think Enforcers would look great with these. I've got boxes of Enforcers that I have yet to actually open or film. That's really sad. I probably should do something about that. That'll be my goal this summer is to get a bit more sci-fi stuff or cyberpunk stuff on to film. We're having a couple other figures just for an idea. If you wanted to go Dark Age, that's a little too future slash retro savage style. But the figure size is all right. I think if you wanted to try using these with like Eden figures, I think you're going to have a little bit of an issue. Eden tends to be a little bit even bigger than Dark Age. Here's a Plan 9, Unit 9, Patreon figure. I believe he actually was also from the Kickstarter. I didn't do the greatest job printing him. Funny enough, I've actually got a set of the metal figures from Be a Better Human, the human interface game, and I have yet to show them off. I really should do that. So I think if you do have access to a 3D printer, 
I think you're going to have a lot more options and choices of what to have these guys hanging out with as well. And I think they'll blend in pretty well. I don't know why we have an old romantic rustic guy. He's a little bit on the shorter side. Maybe not. I don't know. I think I grabbed the marine already. I forget what I grabbed at the beginning. It's been a couple days. Guard size body. And then a fallout figure as well. So, overall, I think they're going to blend in with a whole lot of available figures on the tabletop. Yeah, that's not going to work. What a rant. Somebody needs to make a nice, decent Nagoryuki. I dig his look, but this is not cutting it. I had to get off topic there for a sec. But I think in terms of near future cyberpunk style models, I think these are going to work great. For a lot of what's already on the market, I think they'll blend in pretty well. I'm going to try to grab some modern day stuff. I was looking for those albino raven guys I printed, but I don't know where they are. I think I tucked them away. Actually, no, I take that back. I put them upstairs because I was painting up a dude with a bazooka and a plasma cannon. So yeah, hopefully we'll have them back in the future. And if you guys need any more size comparisons just let me know in the comments down below we'll put a link to monster fight club's page if you guys haven't checked out their stuff before there is a whole lot of cool stuff especially in terms of scenery and i gotta say their resins are pretty nice too so we will bid you a fond farewell at this point this has been high lord tamberlane with obscurities and miniatures saying thanks for watching and we will see you back here soon Bye bye